Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 22 here on Silver Run Force on the Platinum Edition. Folks, I think I found our baby, I mean our, our new tractor, or toy, I mean our, our go-to tractor. Uh, let me zoom in here. We have the AR410E23, whatever that means. I know it's for her and the model number is 410 as you can see on the fender there. Which is 458 horsepower. Uh, we're going with uh, the Lizard tires, uh, 30 inch, uh, I guess, road spacings, and the tire size 480 by 80 or 50 dual weights. Uh, don't know, nope, no weights on the inside of the tractor. No other rims, so they're just on the outside of the tire here. Um, no weights on the front, but this hydraulic uh, in real life, you know, these three point hydraulics weighs pretty good, so it should be an amount of a weight. Uh, we do have front fenders, a three point hitch, as you've seen on the back here. Uh, we got front hydraulics. We uh, see if we can go inside. And yeah, I wish we could set inside when we're making these uh, a GPS monitor. Yes, you can see it pop up right there between the steering wheel and the other monitor. And we got a uh, GPS for uh, the whole thing. Yeah, we're going. We we're going to do that. We need that. And our license plate is Mr. Blue. We got it on the front and back. And I had to redo my license plate, folks. It went bye bye for some reason. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, front right there, as you can see. We got the new mirrors. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be row crop, but yeah, our back plate is up there at the top. Uh, $432,066. We're going to buy it, folks. And by the way, we can see up there at the top right, we got $2,072,000. So, yeah, that's going to bite the budget just a little bit, but it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Now, Having said this, we're going back out of here. Here's our AR series. So uh, we have ART, uh, ART again, and we got another AR here, and then that AR. Um, really, I don't know what the difference is except for the pricing. That's 317, and this one's 219. Uh, Whether well, it does look. Um, all right, the steps, def, fuel tank there. Um, uh, steps look a little bit wider here. Yeah, a little bit different model. Hope this is the newest model. But anyway, uh, <laughs> yeah, I would love to get this bad boy here, and I am thinking about it, folks. I am thinking about it. We're going to need some tractors. Uh, we're not going to go with 310, though. Yeah, it looks like the 410E23 is the most powerful one. Uh, I kind of like that right there. Four thousand. I can't read what that says to save my life, but I like it wide like that, and I like the grips on it. Oh, 2430s. Let's just go through here. I think we're going to go with fat right there. I know that's probably real track. Fenders. Yes, I like the fenders. Front weight. I'm going to go with front hydraulic again. GPS monitor away. It looks like we got the same thing. Just in track form. Um, ooh, 620. Alright, that's gonna put us down to a million dollars. Ooh. Okay, it's gonna it's gonna be worth it. It's gonna be worth it. Um Then we got the Submar series, then we got the T nines, the new Hollands. 9RX here. Wait, what was it? 
Oh, okay. These are those. This is the next big tractor then right here. Let's just take a look at it. This ain't the newest one out by a custom modding yet, but 640. We get the road tracks, three meters. I like that. You yes, uh Guess that still oh yep still rope right there I like that as for pulling out uh, we're gonna put one on there GPS license plate 595,000 for that right there folks uh, we might be getting a couple of them don't know we'll be getting them or the quad tracks on the, the case but yeah, there's, uh, look at that baby. Woo, 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 woo. Get me out of here. Tractor porn hub. Um, did I pass it? That's the AFs. Trying to look the, for the newest one. I should say 715 on it. I know I had it selected. I guess it's, uh, anyway. Anyway, this truck right here, we got to get it going. Well, one, uh, we we need it. Uh, question is, uh, where do we want to take the wood? That's the question, folks. But uh, I'm going to take this up here. We're going to drop these uh, wood chips off at the farm shop and uh, come back and show you a few other things. So I will be right back. Oh, somebody closed the uh, gates on me here. All right. You know, these logs on the back, I'm going to say those are contract logs. I was just about ready to sell them, too. That's the only reason this truck should be over on that side. Oh, I'm going to have to... Oh, I think I made a boo-boo. Maybe we can fix it, though. All right. Back trailer, unstrap. And no, folks, this is not realistic series. That's where we actually uh, do the hard work with our hands. Let me see which way these are. Let's see, red arrow is to the front. Okay. Red arrow. Oh. I don't think it matters as long as they're full. Uh, but these are auto loads that works constantly all loading and yeah they will uh, continue to uh, I think it worked about right probably should have brought it over this a little just a little bit just make sure it's not collision through all right and, and, yep of course it would be now we're gonna fix that though. Let's do it this way here. Drop it down like it's hot. And we're just gonna put that against there like that. So now we got two, four, six, eight. We have eight. Let's see, we're gonna go ahead and put this bad boy to the top here. That way we'll be ready for the next two that comes in and probably about as close as we can get it right now take a look at wood chips here let's go in here alright this is a time saving stock page uh, oh boy where did my mouse go oh we can do it this way uh, wood chips we got 1,802,859 wood chips uh, right now they're down price is 306 give us uh, 552 or we can wait till it goes up to 703 and they'll bring us 1,267,000 uh, 1, dollars in January in January folks this is May 1st so we got a while to go um and I guess we do have two of them okay if I knew that we could have left one up front anyway um 
We gotta get this bad boy turned around somewhere. Hopefully those will stay. I'm just gonna go straight ahead here. Well, let me get this turned around. We'll go see those John Deere tractors. How's that? Ah, right, it was kind of sketchy back there, so I just figured I'd just go on around the wheat field here and show y'all everything. I wish we could get all the ground, like this ground, on the uh, road track side of the truck here. Can't be nothing done with it. And uh, here's our two babies up here. Yeah, um, reason why I come on up this way like this. Let's shut this off. Get one of these off here. Oh, actually, we're going to get both of them off. Um, I think I'm going to use the track tractor for this here. And this oven's going to go on the oven, but it's going to go on the front I believe it's just gonna go back to the farm shop all right let's get up in here let's take a look at the old monitor starting up oh look at there folks oh touch screen uh, radio all right yeah buddy seat cooler laptop spot All right, uh, yeah, raise that up. All right, up uh, on uh, our beacons are little beady things on top of the thing. They're not very bright. I wish they made them brighter. It would be good for the size. Just like like this one back here. It, it's a lot brighter. Of course, at night time they'd be great. But the other one is going to get a plow. Um, we also got to buy some farmland. Uh, got some equipment sitting over there. So uh, let me get up here to the barn and I'll show y'all about that. All right, rolling up in here. Now we do not have a, a front loader attachment tool or anything, but that's why I wanted the three point hitch linkage that's all we can have is and y'all already know where this tractor is going but uh, it's not going to go there right now we'll park this here oh yeah I should park out by the road that way everybody can see the beautiful thing but we're going to get on our 7810 fire it up we got uh, some hay bales here we got to pick up. I think they're hay bales. Supposed to be hay bales. What are these? Uh, yes. 40,500 per bale. Uh, what I done, I went in here and went ahead and got all the bales out of here. One of the things in there is liquid, so I say liquid herbicide, liquid fertilizer. Uh, like I said in the last video, we're going to be mowing and doing some feeding the cows. So uh, I'm glad all that's automatic right there. Ooh, I'm getting a little close to the building. Let's see if I can get back over where it's doing that. All right. And we also, oh, let's do this. Yeah, there we go. This tractor's a little bit small for this once it gets loaded, but this round here, you see right over there we got some sellage bales. They're going to have to be brought over here. And um, uh, we're just going to go ahead and throw all these bales in. Um, come on, they're going to take. All the different size bales. Okay. See if we can take and push this guy in here. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, heavy. All right, there it goes. It's filling up. As you can see, our pile in there is getting bigger. Why it's doing that? We ain't got much sillage, so that's what we're going to do here. And it's still taking it. 
It should take the whole thing, yeah. Okay, good. Well, I don't know if, uh, let's see here. Unload bales. But there's a lot of bales right here. Um, quite a bit. Probably should have got a little bit more better. And unload bales here. Let's back up. That should do about right. All right. Uh, lower this back down. And that should be taking those bales as we speak. And I want to put this back in transport position. Okay, it's going to do it for us. So let's go ahead and shut this off for right now. Um, it is full of hay. Oh man, okay. Well, that's what I was afraid of. So that's why I didn't want to take this thing too far. I should have left it running. Put it back in uh, work mode here. Uh, I ain't gonna bother you with these uh, loading these, so uh, I'm gonna uh, do this off screen. Actually, I think if I can just get it parked right up in here, it's gonna do it all itself. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'll be right back, folks. All right, this bad boy is raising up, getting in position here. We're going to go over here. We have a uh, whole 2,600,000 liters of room. Uh, 52,676 is in here. Uh, let's see on the sign, four bells. Let's go ahead and unload this in there and see how fast it's going to take to put it in. And, oh, they're going already. I had to push back. Okay, good. Oh, look at that stack. That is neat. Come on, go back into work position. I mean, you know, transporting. Oh, it's even got the tarp over it. All right, good. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, that's good. So we means we got quite a bit of hay. I'm just going to shut this off for here right now. Uh, this guy needs to be washed. As, uh, I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna put it in uh, right here. All right. Yeah. I still. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't have it on file right now. Um, but when I go edit, it will be in there. I figured out how to start this. Come over here and push down, and it, it starts. Wow. So easy. Uh, bees of spray. But I don't know if it was Dan or Tactic Gamer or, or whoever, but somebody said this thing was filthy dirty. And they was right. We got to get it washed off because uh, can't have no dirt on the tracks and stuff when we're going down the road. And uh, they're going to come get this and move it to our new spot where I'm fixing to show y'all since this is getting cleaned up pretty fast. Yeah. Um, we'll probably even drive that truck over there because we're going to need it over there anyway. But uh, y'all have already seen the, the land. I just haven't uh, purchased it yet. All the thing is done. Uh, it was a... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's get in here get this truck fired up real quick so uh, AC be cooling off. I love the sound of that. Um, yeah, here's inside what the truck looks like. A little remote for something. <laughs> oh, too many cameras. Too many cameras. All right. Let me go ahead and wire the money over to the people. Let me pull over right here. Uh, I think I need this button. All right. I, I, since I figured out what I needed... Uh, we're going to go in right here on, uh, is this it? Yeah, I hit down here. Uh, field 26 right here. Was that the same number? Oh, crap. Field 3 is the location. But, but if you go in here, it, it's number 26. That's confusing, folks. But this right here, this is what we get. Uh, sandy loam, 42%. 62% loam. Salty clay is 40%. Uh, expected yield potential is 97%. Uh, it's a 
to 1.42 hectares. I don't know how many acres that is. But uh, we on uh, $115,000, uh, Evelyn Carson. Uh, we're going to buy. And money's en route to her. So this is our field now. Uh, crap, I can't keep hitting the wrong one. Right, so we're going to go over, turn grass on. And um, as we can see, it plowed. Yeah, it's been plowed. Okay. So it's been plowed. And what's our next stuff? Uh, we have to go up. Uh, up a couple. Uh, we're going to have to get some soil samples on this. So we'll know what we got, what the pH value, and all that stuff is. Uh, you can see over here our fields are kind of bad. 74% uh, environmental score. Oh, that's good. That is real good. So let's go over and take a look at it now. I'll, I'll be uh, right back when we get over. Oh dear! Oh, I thought that deer was gonna be deer meat. I do want to show y'all this. Uh, as y'all see, let's see here. Do no oh, that. Yeah, there we go. As y'all can see right here, we have street lamps on this roadside here to make it safer at night. Um and if y'all can see down through there, our fence is up and our gate's up. So yeah, I like uh, comment below uh, before uh, uh, Dan from 3D Outdoors. He, he's a good worker. Christian Nicola and all them, all y'all are good workers, folks. And I just want to show y'all here. Uh, this didn't quite come out like I wanted to. Um, I'm going to have to redo this. Probably come back here, take these two sections out. The street poles right here out. And maybe these two sections. And kind of lower this down. And then have the heel match this side here. Uh, for this gate to look a little bit better. Uh, gate just comes straight across. So that's why I've done that but yeah that's some of the improvements of the farm all right uh, let's see yep no train they need a uh, train crossing thing there uh, didn't see what that sign said but yeah all right kind of make sure nobody's coming in behind me I just totally missed the turn here um, did I see a train? Oh, no. No train coming that way. Nothing that way. Train never comes from that way, so that's a good thing. But, uh, like I said, uh, later episodes, all these trees over here is coming down. Uh, I did talk to the, uh, lady. Oh, God, these bushes are going to tear my truck up. The lady that, uh, lives back here, it's her and her husband but her husband works on the riverboat and i like oh, well do y'all have a car because uh, i don't see no way y'all been coming in and you got a little situation going out to the lake here it's like oh no no we don't have a car but my husband drops me off at the river with the riverboat and stuff so yeah uh anyway i gotta come up here we gotta service this machine so i'm gonna part right here service it uh, I don't know if uh, let's see shut my hazard lights off too I don't know how much fuel it's got in it so yeah we got to fill it up with fuel also if we got a service ahead we're going to sharpen this chain down here and stuff like that got to take care of our our good machines here and we brought the forwarder down I think all these are going to be in, was it, 6 meters, 5 meters, whatever the truck calls. But yeah, uh, this is our field now, so game plan, folks. Game plan. Um, looks like this already been lined, but we got to get it soil sampled. But uh, they said they didn't want much of a yard, so we're going to come over about right through here. Well, actually about where the bush at. We ain't going to gain too much this way, but that bush, turn around probably to 
I don't know, somewhere over in that area there. They'll all be GPSed out. Uh, we're going to leave them with quite a bit of yard. But here, the field's going to taper out this way. Uh, and, and yeah, I'll be able to curve back out to this way. Maybe. Who knows? We might put some houses down over here. It's a good spot for some houses. Had some rental houses. I'm going to break my nose here somewhere. Somewhere right in here. Oh, it's not going to let us go that way. Oh, man. As far as we can go that way. Which we can still do what we can do, probably, the way it looks. I just did not take that into consideration. But this way, as far as we can go, it should be... Um, I guess I didn't mark it. That far back. Let's check this. And it should be an X on the tree. Oh, right here. This is as far as I can go this way. Because if I go to cut that tree, it's just going to go, go zoom, into the collision of the wall, the visible wall there. So everything back this way is going to be ours. Um, no, that takes us back to this guy. Uh, I don't have no bags down here. Um, so this tractor is going to have to go all the way up. All the way up to... Uh, Let's see if I can hire a worker. It's been a while since I hired a worker. So, uh, yeah, um, is our strobe still on? Because that's kind of hard to see. Yep, they still on. Alright. Do I trust a hired worker? That's the next thing. Uh, it's an H. Yes, uh, we don't want this. We're going to close this out. Alright, hang on. Okay, I don't want that to be there. Okay, well, I guess it's going to be its thing. Uh, don't want to follow me. I want to go to target position, um, which is going to be right here and go that way. Start job. Looks like he's moving, so, um, okay, he is moving, good. There's our next tractor. Uh, about the same. Um, we're going to go ahead and hook this, raise that up, pull up out of the way. Um, I don't know, we got a plow, don't we? I think we do. Anyway, we'll, we'll hang on this right here because we got some other things to do. Let's take care of this real quick. As you can see, this is the new Liber R960. Yeah, y'all know. The demolition thing or whatever. Alright, um, let's raise in. That's going to lower. Uh, this thing does not twist here. Uh, that's what I hate because everything I can put on it, it will not let it twist. So, uh, we got it down this far. And as you can see, it's kind of very, very heavy. And speaking of heavy, yeah, that happens. Uh, but anyway, speaking of heavy, this, I, even the FS Miners uh, trailers, the, the custom modern trailer, and I've been having this issue. Watch the tracks when I go reverse. Nothing. Go forward. Nothing. It, it, it just does not want to move at all you have to kind of make it move I don't know if it's cause it's right here on the uh, 
where I die in construction at or what, but it's like the tracks tend to sink into the ground. So I just want to show y'all what some troubles I've been having. But yeah, um, let's see here. I, I tried a, a little smaller one, but it still wouldn't work and stuff. And uh, I'm trying to get my tracks to move so I can back up, but I just don't want to do it. So, you know what I'm going to do? Boom! Shaka laka. Boom, boom. I want to probably keep this thing here because this is the only one that works on. Now, I do want to get a smaller one. Boom, that is. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this thing here is too tall and you're probably like uh, seen the other one over there all right now let's see group one group two that and that I'm gonna drop that we're gonna bring this one back in please don't rub the ground too much I want to show y'all something if I, if I can all right um that might be because of all the lag around here i'm not for sure all right there we go oh we got moving a little bit turn 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 there we go can we go forward now please let us go forward because i want to go over here to the sudden I guess that help of my cruise speed was set to max. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go. All right. Let, oh, let me get to the top and I'll be right back. Okay, I had to use super strength to get it up here. Um, but as you can see, the difference. Um, they're pretty much kind of right on. Um, that's about that much difference in them, um, uh, and those two, I'm going to go in here, I forgot where they're at, um, no, it's on down, let's see, used vehicle sale, own items, lease items, and this here, and you want to go all the way down, pass all my mods here and stuff, uh, a little bit further, uh, past John Deere's, yep, right here it is, right here. Um, when you go in here to this, there's, let's see, there's a 12.9, that's what I should have got, and then there's a 12.11, 15 15.11, 15.11 and 15.9 is what you're looking at, what I just showed you. There's a 12.11 and 12.9. I would actually like to get the 12.9 on um, the fast coupler auto tilt. I do not like that. So I'm not going to go with that. And this here, I'm going to get that jet black. And I'm going to buy. And we'll get money back. And um, yeah. This is just going. I'm just going to put that on a trailer, get it up here. But one of these I own, the other one I lease. But this is the uh, 1511 and 159, or whatever those numbers was. The two biggest ones. Uh, but as you can see, when I go raise this up just a little pull that in that top cylinder don't move 
and that oven is out just a little bit more I never could get it to close up all the way and I can't go forward right now but if I let this oh, bring that in let this all the way down you see how it don't really go all the way down to the ground when I detach it see it don't fold up right now I don't know why that's like that but the oven's even worse than this side and I still can't hardly move so hopefully there's an update to these two but I'm gonna get another one and later I don't know is this episode or next episode I'm gonna show y'all that uh, let's see let's just select this and uh, go ahead and return that and, and see which one it was Oh, it was one I was in okay and I'm gonna hit E for enter and I'm gonna start it up and show y'all you still see how that's not sitting right this in here the other cylinder is supposed to come in and the one that extended is not supposed to extend until this in here gets all the way out like that and then it's supposed to extend going up and then it's supposed to extend coming up, or not extend but it's supposed to come back in on its way down first and then this other one that's moving now is supposed to come in but if I bring that down to the ground you can see it's hitting right there and I go undo it Look how, see, it don't fold all the way up. It don't fold all the way up, folks. But I'm going to leave uh, this here because uh, I just got to get it off of this down onto a main road down there. I believe it will start working better. Let's see if I can do that real quick. And then we're going to have to go mow. We're running out of time. It's already 40 minutes in. Having fun showing off these new vehicles. All right, uh, whoa, super strength going crazy. Let's see, that's reverse. That's forward. And sometimes when I just get turned around like this, it usually takes off. Well, I don't know why it just, it, this is an awesome mod, but it's too heavy. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, there we go. I see it can start going the other way. It just. When you stop and take off the other way, it just. There we go. And it seems like when it's all the way down like this is when it takes off. But uh, we are done down here digging. We just need to do some uh, more tree filling and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this into FS. Uh, nope, it's going to be... Uh, miscellaneous over here and it's gonna be this guy right here yes okay so that's all the big ones there now we just have now see I'm gonna show y'all this look how this is setting I, that's the way it's supposed to set right there but this is a literal one so maybe that will help Ooh. I'm down with a little money. Of course, I bought little tractors and stuff. But anyway, uh, let's get to the mowing part. Um, yeah, here's our two tractors. We got these couple of fields here, Mo, which I might uh, jump this in a time lapse. I've been a while since I've done one of them. So uh, let's let's see how this. Ooh, I'm supposed to get out of tractor wise. Let's see how much taller and thicker this is. 
and it does say ready to harvest and if we jump over to right here it says ready to harvest say three or three or four foliage but it, it, it's not thick like this is and that's that is thick so yeah you need to let it get that tall then more I would tab but it'll probably take forever all right switch to the back yeah, I know. Uh, don't know what this is on. It really don't matter. I think it's set to widespread mowing. Okay. Uh, let's function and do that. Get that back on. Uh, toggle work modes. Control wide. Uh, control Y. There it goes. Swap drop it. Lower down. Turn on. Let's just mow some of this right here. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Back to the front. Lower down. There we go. Going too fast for it to work. Got to slow down some. Or about seven. But anyway, let me throw a uh, some music on, and I will see y'all here in a minute when I'm done. the uh, tractor up here and uh, put the GPS on and they have this fence finish and it's straight as all get out I never seen something so straight oh by the way I have been uh, getting some more of these trees down look like they added some more gravel something, something looks different Anyway, I took some more trees down to the road there. These big red ones just don't give you no wood chips hardly at all. But, uh, yeah, uh, they got that thing in place. Chris Nicola, Dan from 3D Outdoors, and uh, Colin Julian. They've been doing an excellent job. I uh, do have about 17,000 liters, look like. 17,514 to be exact. And I want to discharge this over in here. You can see it's doing some number of things right there. So it's offloading into the one that's on the truck. So uh, not going to be enough to fill it. But hey, it's there. What I'm going to do. I don't know if we need another one or not. That's still got quite a bit of room. 
So, uh, I'm just going to take this down to field three, or what was it, 26, whatever it was, and um, just go from there. Um, yeah, I'm going to take a GPS off there. Uh, watch out, deer. I'm fixing a hire a worker. That never fails, that dead gum. Uh, auto save will get you every time. The 8RX, uh, I want to create a job. And I want to see if it'll go. Got to click this here. Go to, hit that. I'm just going to stop it about right here. And start job. Is that moving? Yeah, there it goes. It's starting to move now. I always like to switch off. But it's going. Uh, next thing I do do is get this truck right here going. Uh, I was going to get rid of this truck and flatbed, but um, it tends to work out. It's not auto load. At one one bit, it's not auto load. You have to put everything on here by hand. So um, yeah, time to get some of this stuff away. Uh, I'm gonna hire a landscaping crew to come in. And put some topsoil down around where it's gravel and try to get some grass uh, growing and and whatnot and you know stuff like that and uh, you know what can I hire a worker on this thing too please tell me I can hire a worker uh, go to here do 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 great job uh, not no following it should be go to here uh, Let's see, I put him going in there, so I'm going to put this in stopping about maybe right in here. I don't want him crush into anything. Alright, there goes the truck. Good, I, I, we got uh, two workers going. Um, you know what, I want to look at some ground. I really don't know what I want. Let's go in here and... This is what I own so far. Uh, all the light blue is on. I'm looking for some farmland. This over here looks pretty tempting, but I don't know what it looks like. Uh, it is 176,000, of course. Jimmy Cardwell. Uh, 45 acres. Okay, um, I wanna go over and see what that looks like so I'm gonna just hop out and see if I can find something that's in that neighbor oh I'll tell you what we we're gonna get in this truck here and take it but this truck's gotta be over anyway I got some a lot of stuff that I need to clean up off screen but next time the next episode um, I really don't know if it's going to be time to cut that wheat or not. So we need to be looking for us a, actually a small combine. Because that's the only field we got. Uh, that's just made for our chickens. Uh, this field up here. And the next one we're going to get is, it's not got nothing in it, folks. We got to get, I want to do a little farming on here. All right take the straps off of that and this should be contracts I hope it is all right yeah transporting I uh, can't see it can't see it there we go uh, 25 and 16 we made 43 dollars in wood two dollars five minutes for okay let's go in here and it's always down here let's see yeah complete and complete and it's just dead wood and rock I've had one contract one or two contracts on here and yeah uh, for the wheat we still got a month basically two months away before we can do any harvesting so yeah anyway uh, oh there's a John Deere tractor right there going so we, we got to, oh my God, I forgot all about this field here. 
cross these tracks before a train comes. Oh, speaking of, I forgot. The, yeah, yeah, we gotta go do that real quick. Let me get this truck to field three, and we'll come back and pick up some sillage. But well, it's not sillage now. It's gonna be chaff. Where's the semi truck? Um, okay, it's coming. It's coming around the curve down there. I just can't see it yet. I want to get in front of him for sure. For sure, for sure. And we do have a sillage bell right up here we need to pick up. And I said I was going to do that. I don't know how long this video is right now. It's hour long according to my timer. But it is the time lapse also. Kids, don't try this at home. Don't let your parents try it either double yellow lines that's no passing zone but I want to get in here uh, this guy's gonna go right here we'll cut across right here and go in what's it going to cut across our field it's got to be plowed anyway well, at least it's got lime on it well we got a soil sample I forgot all about that Oh, don't crash into their house. All right. We're going to be some lag down here now. we got to bring a... Well, what you make it out down here, too? Uh, I see. Oh. This guy's already made it. So, um... Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, probably start right here. Let's see, um, let's switch over pipe around that way. We're going to start it. Oh, nope, not that one. We're going to lower down this one towards the front. This is where it's tricky. we got to get this thing right in the center. And as soon as it starts wood chipping, we got to stop and let it do its thing and then pull forward like right here as soon as it do that you stop when it starts falling you pull forward and it just takes out everything we're going to open this all the way up uh some pretty trees here but we need wood chips we need the money and i want to make this place just look better there we go going to kind of go on around like this we're going to have them um, bring some gravel in and uh, make us a road around our field yep, see it works good every time if you don't do it or don't get this in the center you'll have to raise up pull over let it down till it falls down and then might have to make a couple little trips here because I don't feel like pulling up, backing up, and see, we got to do that right there. And let it down. Sometimes it's better to go uphill than it is downhill. And then again, you know, it just. There, there we go. Now, I think we're not going to get too far down, but mostly the, these trees are coming out. Most of all, just about all of them. Uh, I think it's just the best way to go, folks. Alright, you know what I'm going to be doing here. So, uh, I'm not going to show no more of this. Uh, I'll right, go get some more bags. Alright, let's see what else. Uh... Got the forwarder, we got the tree harvester. Uh, oh, this guy right here. I want to do this real quick. Uh, let's see, let's get on our baler. We're going to turn it on. And we're going to go ahead and lower that down. Switch back to the front. We're going to unfold. That's going to, I wish we could keep it right there and just extend it out ourselves, but 
Raise front loader arm. I think that's just going to be the uh, actual front loader. It's, oh, yeah, see, it opens the side panel on the baler, and we are on the front, yes. Um, let's try this button. And, oh, this one. Nope, okay, well, uh, turn this on. And one thing about it, our baler's got a, a wide. Oh, that's why it stopped it. Let me back up here. Um, unload bail here. Um, raise loader, raise front loader, reset bail, unload trans bail. I don't see where it says, uh, did an automatic drop, so I don't know what's happening there. Yes, turn a little sharp does have uh, disadvantages. Oh, but we can go pretty good amount of speed. Um, nope, oh, wrong one. Raise that up. Yep. Okay, got that. We're going to go ahead and get this little corner here knocked out. And then we're going to cross. Yeah, that's the only thing that's on this side. That's going to come in handy with our straw harvesting for big time. Uh, for real, for real, you know. I don't know where I got. Oh, crap. I'm going to back up here a little bit. And let's do this again. Whoa. A little slick. I'm just sliding. Need a bigger tractor. We need a bigger tractor. The 8R. Eight 8RT? Or, eight or no, 8RX. Or or whatever it is. We might have it on this and on the next go around. Oh, yeah. We got some issues right there. Probably because we're going uphill. Is this not going to fight this hill, y'all? Okay. Yeah, it's not going to fight it. It's not going to fight it. Uh, let's turn that off. Let's go ahead and fold it up. I can't even handle the bailer. Pretty steep hill. Pretty steep. Switching to the baler. We're going to lift that up. We're going to turn it off. Can we get it? We turn it off. Oh, yeah. We're going to put a different tractor on this one. For sure. I was hoping we uh, finish this up while we was over here. But folks, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and finish getting this. Y'all know what it's going to be. We got that field there. Guess I could go down there and come back to this. Probably be a little bit better. Oh yeah. Yeah, let me go do that. All right, be right back. All right, it really fills this baler up quite big when we get a straightaway. I can only imagine when we get a bigger and better tractor on here. Alright, I'm going to turn that off, pull that up. Just trying to get some of this up here. One thing about this baler, it does pick you up backwards too. I kind of like that. Well, folks, uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this and, uh, you know, just, uh, I hope you share it with your friends if you do like it. And if you don't, just leave me a big fast night, uh, dislike on it. It don't hurt my feelings none, I promise you. Matter of fact, it, it makes me feel better. Uh, tell the truth. Do you like my videos? Or do you think they absolutely suck? And uh, no hate.
Uh, what I mean by that, uh, uh, nope, 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 fold that back up. Trying to fold the bailer, or lift the bailer up, but I still ended up missing it in the spot right there. I'm just trying to get most of it up because of the lag. But, uh, yeah, if you don't like my content, folks, please be sure and let me know. That way I can know what to change. Tell me what you don't like about it. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it something in detail that you don't like? Is it the realism? Is it the not realism? Uh, that way I can change my... Uh, well, I'm not going to change too much, you know, but I will be, uh, keep it where, uh, I'll try to please the ones I can please. You know, you can't go through life pleasing everyone, but if you want me to play more realistically, uh, let me know. I'll try my best to do that, uh, if for some reason I can't, uh, I'll you know, or I need to raise the bailer up. Gotta go back. Oh yeah, we got we gotta get uh something on the back of this or we just gotta get a better tractor. So I guess uh um I'm just Just can't do it. Let's see. Let me uh, this thing on downs. And this thing would be good for flatter. Okay, I, I'm not even gonna. I'm just gonna kill this right here, folks. Yeah. If that was flatter land, that in there would be perfect. But we just don't have flatter land. Um. I'm supposed to have a big uh, cultivator somewhere, I think. Let me get this out of the way. Over here, probably about right here. Um, let's go in the start menu while I'm, uh, not start menu, but uh, equipment we use, vehicle, own vehicles. I know I got this plow. Is that the only one I have? Gotta be, right? It's the only thing that's showing. Mowers, fertilizer spreader, rollers. I do have a big roller. Right, anyway, yeah, I just I just don't know on that. And um trying to think oh, gotta get this guy out of the road. Be a good ending to the situation here. But it, once again, saying, you know, if you don't like my content, let me know down below in the contents and be sure and leave a, a big fat dislike. Or, or a like, it don't matter. Uh, whichever one y'all choosing, you know. I'm gonna see if I can uh, get this bag here loaded. Oh yeah. Um, hope it feels it. But anyway, um, my video is too long, too short, uh, stuff like that. Uh, what would you like to see? Farm sim wise, I, I know some of y'all is wanting a mod, a not a mod, but a vlog video of where I've been and stuff like that. And yes, that needs to happen. Oh yes, 200,000 liters of wood chips in this. And I am not going to take this into uh, the farm shop just yet. Um, we got that there to fill up and then I will take it because we might need a couple more of these here uh, I'm gonna get what wood I can out because it needs to go to the lumber mill uh, I really don't know what all we can make on them see these big fat nasty ones over here they're not really fat they're skinny little bitty things those is what we're going to eat up as wood chips these little ones here, they're just not no good. Guess if I should go down in case I hit a big giant pothole. Just gonna park this right here. And, um, yeah, it, it's just, uh, 
I actually got this on the wrong driveway. It needs to be on that driveway over there. That's where the gravel and stuff's going to come in. But anyway, I, I need to quit rambling and uh, figure out what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to put this on the baler. I'm just going to drop this thing off here. We'll be coming back here to pick up some wood chip containers. Um, let's see, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. I guess that's it, folks. I'm just rambling on now, going over and over and stuff. Uh, let's check our wheat real quick. It should be, like I said, it's two months. It's got one more stage, uh, growth stage, and then I think it has to uh, turn brown after that. Looks like everything's good. That's that's awesome, you know. Um, but I'm looking to get more fields. Uh, the wheat's going to be for the chickens. Uh, if we get enough wheat off the field, think to go a uh, whole year without planting something, then we'll put corn or soybeans in that field. Um, something like that. Oh, that bell's gonna be in the way. I gotta get this. Oh, I would have to hit it. I have to get this picked up over here and then go over there and do hay bales in that other spot because that's what we made. Oh, thank God for duels. And other than that, I guess that's about it, folks. Uh, uh, like always, just be sure and share me with your friends. I'm trying to get to uh, a thousand and something family members. And, of course, you know that watch time hours and all that. Oh, I guess I'm about to start it. Um, not, uh, I think I'm hung in, yeah, that's probably what it was. And lower down and see if I can un unfold not jump out and get up here out of the way yeah get on level ground in case the tractor wants to run away or something but yeah uh like dislike whatever y'all want you know it's don't matter to me uh leaving a comment down below will definitely help uh engagement on my videos um but the main thing is, get your family members to subscribe to me. Oh, boy. I guess it's just hung up on that ridge right there. But, yeah, this tractor's got a whole lot more power, so. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better. That's a lot better. All right, we're going to turn that on. Turn that on. And this thing likes to miss some because it's not level with the ground. Picked up the wrong one. Pick up that. Yeah, there we go. I'm going to drop it over here on the road. I'm kind of glad auto drop's not on. Oh, I hit the bridge. Oh, ooh, thank God it popped out. Right, let's see if I can do this. Oh, yeah. Because I've gone over it a couple times to get it all. more slow I go, probably the better. I want to see if I can carry these two bales out of here. That way we don't have so much of a long way to come with the bell carrier or semi truck or whatever. All right, that's all right that way, so that's good. But anyway, uh, folks, I hate to do this, but I got to get off here. It, it, this video is getting long. So, in other words, y'all have a great day, a blessed day, and I'll see you in the next video, folks. Hope y'all have a blessed one.
later.